All right, guys, welcome back to the weekly Meraki Sales Recap. Pretty stinking excited. Uh, last week was a very good week. We had 141 closes last week. Yeah. It's an average week. <laughs> really good. Rough week. Rough week. Now, yeah. 141 last week. That is, that is amazing. amazing. We are week. trending for this month to be the biggest month ever by far. We're doing extremely oh, yeah. well. We're already over 400 closes. If we continue on the same trend, we'll be over 600 closes by the end of the month if we keep the trend. So we'll have to see if we keep it. Incredible. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Really, really good job. We, we had 34 people that had two or more closes last week. Um, so, big shout out to these guys. I'm going to go through these names. So, we had uh, Aaron Castillos, Alf Alfredo Munoz, Anna Virg Virginia Reyna. I haven't seen that one. Good job. Good name. Uh, Cesar Macias, Edgar Devilla, Davila, uh, Eduardo Duran, Gabriel Flores Jr., Israel Salas, Jesus Salas, uh, Jose Contreras, Juan Mendoza, or Tito. Um, Julio Sanchez, Leo Alvarez, Luis Mendoza Jr., Maxwell Wester, Oscar Herrera, uh, Ramiro Chacon, Sergio Iglesias Jr., um, and uh, Victor Alfonso Hernandez and Victor Velasco. Nice. So really good job, guys. A lot, lot of people. A lot of new too. names. Yeah. A lot of new names. I did. I noticed a few new names in there. So really good job, guys, on getting two closes in one week. That's uh, out there hustling, doing, doing work. So I like that. Being smart, obviously. Um, going to the people that have three closes in one week, quite a few of these guys too. In order to even make it into the top four or five, you need to have at least five closes in a week. <laughs> um, but we're going to go through the threes. This, if you have three closes in one week, that's an amazing week. You're are. way good. Yeah, amazing, awesome amazing week. Dominated that week. Dominated. Brittany Berrerio, uh, David Shunia, uh, Shunai. And then Efrain Quesada. Efrain's been on here yeah. a bunch of times. So yeah, yeah, he's doing well. Uh, uh, Haziel Alejandro Yu. <gasps> He's not the very top. Oh, the He's not even top five. Whoa. What is going on? on? Oh, how do you? Although it's funny, three closes is amazing. But, you know. <laughs> dude. Uh, dude. <laughs> Jesus Rosho, which means Jesus tied you this week. Wow. Jesus is going to make comeback. Catching up. Making uh, that comeback. Ma Manuel Reyes, uh, Miguel Valesquez, Valez uh, and Vincent Montes. So really good job, guys, on getting your three Way closes. Yeah. It's so that's really impressive. I mean, it's a really impressive week. Um, and these guys have four closes last week. So Aaron Sandoval and Miguel Wizar. So really, um, really Miguel, man, he's making his way up. Aaron is what had four closes last week while on vacation in Chicago yep. for his daughter's graduation or admission. That man does not stop. Does not stop working. You better Ever. believe he's on the phone with those those trainees. He's on on there helping them get deals done. Like. That that getting referrals done, hustles, hustles, man, from afar, getting it done. I know he closed like two deals before he left, and then closed a couple deals around and got back. Or... <laughs> he just <laughs> said it. It doesn't, matter. doesn't matter. I'll take vacation. Doesn't I'll still get my deals. I'll still get my deals. I'll, I'll wait. I will come through. Really good job, man. Um, Eddie Sanchez and Mario Ferreira both had five closes last week. Nick, so Nick. really good job. <gasps> Mario gained on you just a oh little bit. It's by two. By two. Really, really and good that, job. Mario is awesome. doing well. Yeah, doing way well. And then for uh, we have a first place tie. So we have two guys have tied for first place. Uh, Angel Magallanes and Isidro Vasquez. Isidro! Oh, nice. Bring Albuquerque. Bring With six closes. closes, man. That, that is, is just, huge. Just massive. I'm a freaking humongous. How do you have five closes and you're not in first place? That's amazing. That's a, it's amazing. And I wanted to highlight, too, so Mark here is... is uh, Busting out our, that's our, it doesn't have the, the logo and stuff on it yet, yet, but that is the uh, platinum shirt. We're going to redo all the polos for the ranks and come out with the official colors, the colored polos for each rank. I know we had some black ones, but we're going to get the actual colors out. Which yep. Sweet. So we should be getting those out like this next month. So I'm excited. Look for them. It's going to be awesome. All right, moving into the Meraki Summer Games winners of round three. So round three ended Ooh. yesterday. So nice. we're going to see who uh, moves on to the final round. So starting with, uh, let's, let's start with leader. Uh, we got six people. Julio Lopez with three closes. Jesus Barrotaran with five closes. Miguel Gonzalez with six closes. Brittany Barriero with seven closes. Efrain Cuisada with seven closes. And Vincent Montez with ten closes. Wow, uh, ten, so ten leader category. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he, next year yeah. he's definitely going to be in so, the, a higher rank. For in the sure. leader league. Yeah, I like that. It's going to be the lowest league. And that's, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. For sure. Yeah. And then moving into the uh, challenger, we'll start at the bottom. We actually had seven because the, the bottom person, they tied in every single round. They tied this round, they tied in the second round, and they tied in the first round. So, oh my gosh. Well, you know, all we're right. just going to go ahead and say, all right, both of them going to move on. So <laughs> we got Jose Enriquez with three closes. 
Uh, Pedro Alcala with three closes, Cesar Macias with four closes, Gabriel Gonzalez with four closes, Israel Salas with four closes, Luis Mendoza Jr. with four closes, and then finally Angel Magallanes with seven closes. Nice. So, moving into master, we got David Chunier with five closes, three in round two, Christian Gomez five closes, four in round two, Normando Bustamante five closes, and he had seven in round two. So all those people tied. Um, Andres Carvajal, six closes, Leo Medrano, six closes, and then Carlos Eduardo Casillas with eight closes. Nice. So, manager bringing it back right there. Uh, Grandmaster, we have four. The, the four moving on is going to be Jesus Benrocho with ten closes, Aaron Sandoval, 12 closes, Mario Ferreira, 19 closes, and Javier Alejandro Yu with 22 closes so in three weeks. Anything can happen, yeah. you know, in that one because. Um, I know some of a, a few guys got eliminated that round that honestly did really really well, but they just had like a week or two they did bad, and they ended up eliminated. Although all four of those guys, I believe, are, are crushers. pretty much are, are crushers, dominators. Oh, yeah. I think it's gonna come r really really close to see who is truly the best. Jesus, Aaron, Mario, or Haziel, and Mr. Yu. That's um, that's gonna be cool to see yeah. who does that because that's the top the top league there. That's pretty sweet. So we're going into our final round of rugby games, um, and we'll see who comes out on top. we got some sweet stuff, Super and excited. we're looking forward to the Meraki Con later on. Yeah. Um, now, just to wrap up, we want to talk about the lifestyle trait highlight today. Um, again, this is shout-outs from all your managers, so highlighting reps in the office who really um, you know, are examples of this trait. Uh, the trait for this week is desire for a challenge. So these guys all got nominated by their managers, obviously. El Paso East, they nominated Roland Rios. And he's constantly asking for new challenges and people he can help. He uh, is not just all talk, he accomplishes everything. And he's always, they, they said he's always asking for more to do. So that guy is, is he, at, he wants it. He's hungry. He's yeah. hungry. Yeah. He wants more to overcome. El Paso West, we got Miguel Gonzalez. He started working three months ago and he's always in the top five. And he's only three months. In That's everything. true. That's a fact. He's recruiting tons of guys and quality guys. So he's building it as well. Um, in Albuquerque, we got Angel Fonseca. He's always on the grind. Always looking where he can help others. He used to own his own company, doing his own thing. Shut it down for Meraki, and he's seen it here. He wants he wants that challenge, he wants that growth. So, super good job. In Las Cruces, we got Leo Madrano. Um, he always gets the new guys, get paid straight away, and takes on a ton. So he is he's there to help people make money, yeah. and he's really facilitating that, um, getting them, getting yeah, the money. Getting he them deal closed, he gets them, gets them on close fast. Yeah. Really Out in Destin, we got Stevens uh, Lamone, only a couple weeks in, putting in massive hours while maintaining a positive attitude at the same time. So he is just grinding, which is awesome. Likes that challenge. Yeah, Pensacola, we got Tyler uh, Gillette, is it Gillespie? Mm -hmm. Gillespie. Um, Tyler just started a week ago, and he is here to uh, to party. Actually, three days ago. Three it's, days ago. And he yeah. has 13 PRs weeks. and one close in three days. So He came in guns blazing. In he was like, days. I'm, here, days. I'm here to do this. We were in a correlation and uh, we were asking about what motivates you, and he's like, money. I need to make more money. <laughs> <laughs> that guy has got his eye on, on what he wants, on the prize. So um, in Las Vegas, we got Eduardo Agraman. He always goes above and beyond. He works after hours, in the middle of the night. Literally closing deals at 2 a.m. Um, he's picking up other reps and carpooling together to help people succeed working in groups, which is awesome. Sweet. In McAllen, we got Jesus Savala. He moved across Texas to have a better chance at success. He's, he wants to be a manager. He's looking for growth opportunities, and he's a super hard worker. Uh, in Colorado, we got Jacob Vasquez. This guy is consistent. He's a core attribute to that Colorado office. Um, numbers. When numbers are down, they just call up Jacob and they say, hey man, we need help picking this up, but he picks it up. Um, he pushed his closing skills to a very high level as well, and he's being an awesome leader in the Colorado office, so super good job there. Um, out in California, in the Riverside office, we've got Alan Ayala. He just became a rep when he joined Meraki, he quit his stocks career, um, just put it out there, and his very first day, had seven PRs. So that guy Dang. is first day. Ready to first grind. Day. He's, he's gonna be a killer. So, super awesome job to everybody. Super awesome week last week. Um, looking forward to another huge week this week. We got some good stuff coming and uh, getting excited for all these uh, correlations and Meraki Con coming up. So. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. What's